hello guys so i'm finally back with another video and for today's video i'm going to be doing my sister's nails i wasn't sure if i wanted to post this but i did get a lot of good comments and likes on my picture on instagram if you guys follow me you guys have already seen this set so i figured i'd upload it i am missing a little bit of footage just because a lot of it wasn't in focus for some reason but I guess it's okay because it doesn't make the video too long and boring. So I'm just starting off with my application. This nude is Nude Panther from Not Polish. I am using the Not Polish monomer as well as a Profiles Backstage size 6 brush, I believe it is. Yes. So I did already prep and prime. That was some of the footage that was out of focus and i will be showing you guys a little bit of filing in this as well once i'm done with the application really quick before i forget i did use the universal tips by not polish and i just cut them into this shape as best as i could get and then i filed obviously the rest of the way and it's in between like a stiletto and almond if you guys have seen I think I've posted a few videos of me doing this particular shape and she loves this shape. It's the only shape she'll let me do. And, um, but yeah, it's really pretty. I was surprised at how many likes my picture got on Instagram. I was kind of scared to post them, but they ended up doing really good. So I figured I'd share with you guys. I honestly can't wait until I can start taking clients. I just feel like I'm finally comfortable enough to where I could take clients. And I know it's been a long time, but I wanted to be comfortable with it instead of just jumping into it, you know? So hopefully whenever my daughter lets me and she gets a little bit older, I'm able to start taking clients. But for now, I just do like my sister. I can't even do my friends sometimes because she just wants mom all the time. She is not even two, so, and I'm a stay-at-home mom, so it makes it a little bit hard. So yeah, guys, I've missed you, and I hopefully can start posting consistently again this upcoming week. I'm going to try my hardest. I do have um, another video plan. I ordered that Not Polished Candy, what is it called? The Candy Coat. I don't even know that new collection they're like jelly um translucent acrylics which is super cool i ordered that collection and i will be doing an unboxing and swatches for you guys whenever i do get that i believe i will get that sometime next week so i'm excited about that and i just want to start doing more sets for you guys because i need more practice <laughs> but yeah i was really happy with this set um, especially after I filed and everything it looked so good and I'm really proud of myself of how far I've come so yeah I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of the application and I will be back once I have something else to say <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys with my talking so I'll be back
all right so now i am just going to start filing and shaping these a little bit better just trying to get them nice and crisp and make sure you get your side walls too if they sometimes they get a little chunkier so you just want to make everything as nice and smooth i'm using a knot polish file this one in particular is the one i use on my sister all the time i have a little baggie with the stuff i use on her but when i do start taking clients i want to have little baggies with like their own cuticle pusher they're kind of kind of like their own little bag of stuff that is good quality stuff that i don't have to throw out every single time so i think that's a really good idea i don't plan on taking like a whole bunch of clients i want to have like a set steady number of clients hopefully that's what i'm aiming for um but yeah that's what i want to do one day so i'm just gonna finish just shaping these like i want them making sure they're all good and then i'm going in with my five in one drill bit from kara sky to seal the cuticle which is super important you don't want your cuticle area to be really thick or anything like that you want to get it as flush as possible to the nail so you have no lifting and that's what i'm doing now i just go in a circle motion and try to get the nail as smooth as i can and just be careful to not cut their cuticles <laughs> so um i felt more comfortable this time around doing it and this just makes the nails look so good and i don't know i love love this bit so i do highly recommend that and i think it's a medium grit just try to get as close as you can without hurting them obviously i'm just gonna finish that up and now we're going to go in and buff i'm using a profiles backstage buffer which are my favorite they are just amazing just trying to get those as smooth as possible before i do my nail art which i will be showing you guys in a second and i will be using those new liners i got in my swag bag so i won't be showing the whole process i will be showing a few nails just because a lot of that wasn't in focus but you'll get the gist of it um with a few so now we're gonna jump into that and this is a really beautiful brown it's so pretty she wanted kind of like a bunch of line work which i was nervous about because it's actually harder than it looks but um they ended up looking good they're not absolutely perfect or anything like that i could have cleaned them up a little bit more we just kind of in a rush but hey <laughs> They looked good, so I'm not mad at it. The only thing I will say about these liners is that for some reason they were bubbling on me. And I watched a V Nailed It video today that she uploaded using these liners and the same thing happened to her. But she said it had to do with your light not being strong enough to cure them. So I might have to invest in another light because... But I only... I feel like it only happened with this brown um and then i added a top coat and it just concealed it you couldn't even tell once i added a top coat because um i did redo a few nails that had it really bad but um the brown seemed to get it worse than any of the other colors so yeah i'm just cleaning up with some acetone anywhere that i messed up and now i'm moving in with the next color and then i just did the lighter color after that added my top coat and i will let you guys see what the finished nails look like in just a bit thank you guys so much for watching and like i said i will see you next week uh, make sure you have your bell notifications on if you do not that way you get notified whenever i post so yeah guys i will see you next time thanks